Hey everyone, Mark Glazier here, founder of Nutribio Labs. Sitting here in my office, it's getting a little late on Saturday night, but before I left and started my weekend, I uh, wanted to give you some uh, exciting news about a couple changes we made in our whey protein isolate this week. Now, if you know our company, my brand, you know that we've been producing a pure 100% whey protein isolate for over 20 years now. This is not a new type of product for us. We made some changes to it, and the big change this time around is our flavor system. We tried to make this taste a lot better. Now, we haven't changed our flavor in this in over 10 years, so I, I think it's, it was about time for a flavor change, yeah. You know, to me, the most important thing is not the way it tastes. I understand that's important, but I have three things that I look at when I make a product. Number one is performance. Number two is quality. Number three is how it tastes, okay? Performance is everything, and first. It doesn't matter how good this tastes, it doesn't matter how well I make it. If it doesn't give you results, it's useless. So we start with the formulation of the product, making sure every single ingredient is the best we can do, making sure that the formula is designed to give you results. After that, we start the manufacture. We decide how to make it the best possible product we can. Now, Nutribio is not made by somebody else. I make every single one of my products right here, right behind this camera, in my 40,000 square foot GMP facility. We manufacture to 21 CFR Part 111 federal guidelines. We exceed those guidelines. This is a full GMP manufacturing facility. Uh, inspected, I think this is our fourth full inspection by the FDA in this facility. Uh, so quality is extremely important, utmost important, after making sure that that, that, that formula performs. Once we know we have a product that works, once we know that it's made to the best, highest possible standard, then we worry about flavor. So in this product, no different. We made the flavor a lot better, but for example, this is the chocolate, we made some enhancements to it. We took out the artificial chocolate flavor and we replaced it with a natural non-GMO chocolate flavor. We also came up with some new technology because we use a cocoa in here as well as a chocolate flavor and we spray dry the flavor onto the cocoa and by doing that, we reduced the amount of product that we're using for the flavoring system, and we were able to improve, increase the protein value of this product, of this protein, by about 2%, 1.7, 1.8% higher protein value. Now that's kind of different what the normal changes in the industry. Most products slide in reverse. The companies are always looking to produce at a higher margin, at a lower price. Now that's important. Any business has got to stay in business, so margin is important but I never, ever sacrifice quality or results for margin. So this product tastes better, it's higher in protein value, and we've gotten rid of some of the, the unnatural flavor that's, that's in here. Now, there's a couple other things that you have to know, and if you use our products, you know, I'm preaching to the choir here, you already know what's going on. This protein product, or any of our protein, our muscle matrix, our MRP, our extreme mass, our micelle casein, casein our hydrolyzed proteins, any of them, we have never ever protein spiked a product in the 20 years that we've been around. You know, we're a manufacturing facility. I've been manufacturing over 15 years. So besides being a brand owner and knowing all the inside scoops about what brand owners do, I also know a level higher. All the inside garbage and scams that go on in the manufacturing level and above them in the ingredient level. So there's three levels, there's three tiers of scamming going on. Ingredient brand companies scamming the contract manufacturers, contract manufacturers trying to get the highest margin and bringing it down to the brands, and the brands doing the same thing to the stores. So after 20 years of a brand being a brand owner, 15 years of being a manufacturer, I've learned just about everything. We were one of the first companies to even bring out protein spiking about eight or nine years ago. Uh, so this product or any of our products, we have never ever protein spiked. Also, no proprietary blends on this protein or any other protein. I have 360 plus items that I produce here in this facility now. Every single label has full label disclosure, full transparency, no proprietary blends. Every single ingredient is listed on every single label with the exact dosage of every ingredient, not just the actives, but the inactives, the flavor, the sweeteners, all of them are listed with their dosage right on the label. In this case, I'm holding the chocolate, the source protein here we already went over, that's whey protein isolate, and that's the only protein in here, no cheaper concentrates or anything else in this particular product. The label will tell you that we use 28.19 grams of pure whey protein isolate, cross flow, micro, and ultra filtration 
We use a, a, a low temperature process, so we keep it non-denatured or as, much, as low de denaturing as possible. Uh, that 28.19 gram yields 25 grams of complete protein. So you can divide the 25 and the 28 and see exactly how pure the protein source that we're using is. In addition, we list our four other ingredients with the dosage. So we have a chocolate flavor, we have a cocoa, a xanthan gum, which is a fiber that gives a little mouthfeel thickness to this, and we have a sweetener. Each of those dosages are listed right on the label. So the entire formulation of this product is right in front of you when you pick up the label. Same with all products that I make. There is no window dressing products, you know, putting something on the label and then really putting a very small amount of it on the inside the product just to fool the consumer to hype it up. No, everything we put in there is on the label, full formulation. This ingredient product has absolutely no fillers or no excipients, no silicon dioxide, no, no uh, mag stere, none of these, these ingredients that companies put in there to improve manufacturing efficiencies, but at the same time lower the protein value and possibly give some dangerous results to the consumer. We don't play those games. We don't have a filler or excipient in any product that we manufacture. Uh, you know, a lot of companies will throw dairy creamer into this product. Dairy creamer is basically fat and sugar. It makes it taste a lot better, but it's dirt cheap and it brings down the protein value of the overall product. So again, no fillers, no excipients, nothing in this product. We manufacture, we manufacture the GMP standards and greater, no proprietary blends, no protein spiking, full label disclosure, and now it tastes better and it's got a higher protein value. So anyway, weekend starting. Everybody have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.